I personally told with people who were raped, who were smashed in wooden boxes, whose fingers were cut, uh, whose eyes were pulled out with spoons, and we need to stop this uh, torturing and stop this practice. Alexin Sov is a Ukrainian producer uh, who was arrested at the beginning of occupation of Crimea by Russian authorities. He is uh, like one of uh, dozens of uh, citizens of Ukraine uh, who for current moment held in Russian prisons uh, because of uh, their public position of disagreement with the occupation of Crimea or war in Donbas. The case is, is uh, false. It's proved by different international organizations, and that's why uh, UN, European Parliament, Council of Europe, OECE, the President of France, and other top political officials uh, are asking for his release. Uh, in May this year, Oleg Kosinsov announced in hunger strike with demand to release all polit Ukrainian political prisoners which are legally held in Russia and in occupied Crimea. For current moment, Oleg Sinsov stopped his hunger strike because of threats to be obligatory feed and this uh, very like uh, traumatic procedure, it's like torturing. The threat to his health and life is still appeared because the process of recovering and uh, transforming to the normal life, uh, like normal in prison, but uh, still, it's uh, it's very dangerous process. We work with the topic of political prisoners for several years, and um, we couldn't reach the interest of international community to the to these people. In our list, we have approximately 70 prisoners. Uh, it's uh, people who um, accused and fabricated criminal case and held in Russia and occupied Crimea. Only several of them, like Alexin Sov and maybe two or three other uh, famous political prisoners, are on, like, in uh, uh, focus. Uh, but because of demand of Alexin Sov, um, only his personal courage and personal struggle uh, can make a huge difference. Suddenly, uh, journalists uh, started to publish articles about all people from this list. Russian film producers start to create a film about people from the Alexins of list. So uh, it's, it was a struggle with sense and he achieved uh, some important result. When we initiated uh, global action Save Alexin Sov, uh, active people in France was the first people who uh, respond to our call. And we managed to organize with, uh, together uh, the public demonstration in several towns in France. And uh, Save Alexin Sov Global Action, this is self-organized campaign which based on volunteer input and like own initiatives of people who live in different countries and more than 30 countries uh, join to this campaign. It's very important because it's uh, helped to keep uh, the, the question in the agenda for, for, for Putin and his surrounding. It's a show to Alexin Sov and to his relatives and to relatives of other political prisoners and hostages that people are struggling for their release and it gives them uh, courage and gives them energy to survive. I'm sure that Alexin Sov will release and we will ask him what he thought during this period. Unfortunately, we, we know for sure that another people from our list uh, f uh, face with uh, uh, torturing and bad treatment and cruel behavior. They, they not obtain the normal uh, medical, uh, medical treatment. Another kind of violation which, which these people are face, uh, the independent lawyers are prohibited to have access to them. And it's uh, even a uh, violation not only of international norms, but also uh, norms of Russian Federation. And we know only about uh, more than hundreds of uh, uh, hostages which are still kept in basement in Donbass. And I always uh, put stress on this second group because 
uh, they has to be released according to Minsk agreement um, several years ago. Conditions in which they held are shocking. Uh, I personally told with people who were raped, who were smashed in wooden boxes, whose fingers were cut, uh, whose eyes were pulled out with spoons, and we need to stop this uh, torturing and stop this practice. We have a very famous in Ukraine poet, Vasil Stus, and he was imprisoned uh, in Gulag, and he died in Gulag. And suddenly I understood that he died when I was born. So it's not about like some, ev some events which, which uh, took part in fi 15th century. It's our very nearest uh, past, which can be our nearest future again. And that's why I decided that I have to fight for uh, human rights and, uh, li and freedoms, n not to return to this past where poets were killed only because of his public positions.